Gentlemen, let's start with a quick fire. Very interesting topic from over the week. Everybody had something to say about it. Uh, all we can say was an accident. Well, there was no blood spilled. <laughs> <laughs> Malawian education minister, you guys heard about that guy? He tripped, fell, and landed into some... Along the, the honest one, what did he land in? Well, I, I, think, I think the guy was a victim. However, what you want to say. <laughs> Let me tell the way he landed into. He landed into some sex. He apparently impregnated his deputy, and then when asked, he said it was a mistake. How do you fall inside, you know, that kind of something? It was, it was an office hazard, you know. It was office hazard. It just, you know, I mean, you know, when you're working late and you know, mm -hmm. you're tired and you and know, trip over, just, I mean, trip over or maybe he fell, maybe he fell, you know, into some kind of, you know, sad mood, and she was like, oh my god, like let me. Let me Make help you. Make you feel better. Mm. Guys, see, at this point in time, I just need to come true. You see, men have always been victims. Mm. Mm -hmm. From the time of Adam, mm. we saw what Eve did to Adam. Mm. So how today we are still suffering from what Eve did to Adam. Okay. Eve had Adam eat from the fruit of, Life. you know, the rest. <laughs> eh? So mm. I think he lost so the opportunity this guy, there. He should, have said, he, should have told, he should have told the press that it was the, it was the deputy you gave me. <laughs> but, guys, what do you think about that one? <laughs> when, I, when I heard that he said it was a mistake, it was an accident, is it the, the sex or the pregnancy? Both. Perhaps maybe, that's what... Maybe, maybe, I, maybe, maybe, maybe it was misinformation. Maybe I, I'm, I'm thinking that it was, a, uh, it, was, it was a mistake that she got pregnant. I think that's it. Yeah, yeah I got think caught. They got it that way. Yeah, no, no, no. The mistake was that he got caught. No, the mistake was that she got pregnant. Even if they got caught, express. as long as she's not pregnant, they're mm -hmm. two, two consenting adults, right? And so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, I think so that was a pregnancy. mistake that they actually yeah. got into some coitus, mm. but it was a mistake that they got that, that she, she got, got pregnant. pregnant. Got pregnant. Well, got caught. This, this, she's, this she's... is the responsibility of the government now. She's also married, however. Government baby. So that means in offices of such and maybe elsewhere, there are uh, relationships going on between people who are married. Of course, yeah. I, I think, I think, um, I think um, sometimes, yeah, people are not really honest about it. But the more people walk in a closer um, situation, mm -hmm. if for some strange reason they're vibing and all that, mm -hmm. and then the other person is playing the role of a partner, support mm -hmm. system or mm -hmm. stuff, stuff like this happens. It happens more than we mm. would want to admit. That's correct. And it happens in a lot of offices. Mm. I think the only problem here was that they got caught. Mm. Because, I mean... Um, it, well, so it's not... It's think, not okay. Let me just say this real quick. It's, it's not alarming when people that work together get involved. Like yeah. you said, when you're in close proximity and you spend that much time in the workplace mm -hmm. or in the work environment with the opposite <coughs> gender or somebody that you're attracted to, things can happen when you don't have self-control. Mm -hmm. You know, so those things can happen. They do happen in the office space. So sometimes you just have to be mature and professional that must be a, about that must it. Also, so, be a work hazard for you because <clears throat> so, so you he, you work with a partner who's female. You've yes. done that pretty much most of your work experience. From exactly, the only thing that you ever I, had I have, such an experience. I have self control. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. And most of the females that I'm are assigned to work with me, mm. are, as attractive mm. as they may be, they're very mm. stupid. <laughs> so I, they're, they're not. They're not. When I say that, they're not that, but I put that in my mindset. Wow. Do you understand? I put that oh, in wow. my mindset that there's something about you. So that puts you in check. Yeah, that puts me mm. in check. I look at you in a way that I'm like, regardless of how attractive you might be, there's nothing that's going to make me get myself involved with you. In, in, okay. in addition to that, right, uh, he spoke about the fact that, you know, a lot of the time, <laughs> a lot Sorry. of the time, <laughs> you Just know, people, I, I mean tend to work very closely. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I, I was speaking to a friend of mine who, who works in the aviation industry, and mm. you know, she was like, I mean, she's an hostess, and she's like, this is extremely rampant in her industry. Mm. And this has sort of, sort of like, you know, formed the very idea that this whole um, promiscuity mm -hmm. is extreme in the yeah. aviation industry. But I said no. Aviation? Yes, aviation industry. Oh. That, well, so, because, you know, so, what, what, so, so this thing, okay, so, I mean, since she started working there, yeah. I, I usually ask her this question as to, you know, whether this... I um, also think it's because that, high fly that ladies who work in the aviation thing, age, If it was real. Yeah. You know, she's like, yes, it's actually very real. Like, so what was people, that really about? Can you, so like, the, break it down? Uh, I'm the not sexualization of female work in aviation. <laughs> 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 because I heard stuff in front of Yeah, so out. that's the, ex that's the yeah. exact same reason, you know, I usually mm. pose that question to her. Is this Wait, stuff real? Pause. And she I'm, goes, I'm thinking this, yeah. I'm thinking that aviation in itself, first of all, 
is sexualized. So, on its so, own. If so you're a pilot, you're seen as ah so, bad guy. So, so that's the if thing. If you're a hostess, you're like ah hot girl. So let me. So let me. Let me. So the thing is, that's where I was going to. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I, you know, I, t I think I told her that I think that um, it's not so much as what you know. The industry is because yeah. this happens everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. It happens in government, happens in the bank, happens everywhere. You Media. Left, it left and all of something that. else. It happens yeah. in churches. Yes, that's what <laughs> I'm saying. It's it's everywhere. Fire. It happens everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. Now, my wife usually says something to me. The moment you form a constant communication with an op opposite sex, mm. especially if that communication is constant, mm -hmm. morning till maybe close of mm -hmm. all, you will form some kind of emotion for that person. That's emotional cheating in it. Yeah, so that, that, that's now, where the self-control comes I was going to say in. something, uh, Gang. You said, and I quote that, you have self-control, oh. right? What happens when the person you're with does, does not have self-control? Self -control? Self -control. Yeah. What if the person hits on you constantly? The person, see, this is what I say. You're allowed to hit on people. They're mm -hmm. human. Mm -hmm. They're fine. They're attractive. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're allowed to do that, and the person is allowed to reject you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and that's it. So, because at the end of the day, if I still don't give that consent, not the, there's some people I won't lie to you. Honestly, I can't work with them because I know something may happen. Mm. Okay, and I don't okay, want that. that. I don't want to experience. Down. What I don't choice want to experience do you have anyway? That. Huh? What choice do you have? Your boss. You're not the one that employed yeah, the person. Exactly. Right. No, no, no. To... I no no no. Sometimes I have you know my position mm. now. I'm not, oh, sorry, sir. I'm not, sorry. You get me. <laughs> I, I have a choice. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I, I dictate who I work with and okay. who I don't work okay. with. You get me? Mm. There's been a situation. There was a time when they brought a certain girl to come and intern with me. And when I first of all saw her, the way she was even dressed and looking, I said, mm -hmm. why are you people trying to put problem on top when of my head? Okay, so, so when, when there is, let me give a true life story. Yeah? I have a different mm. question for your Lambie before yeah. your true life story that, that will put you in trouble. <laughs> what what, um, what uh, responsibility does your partner have in that instance where you're working in close proximity with somebody who you have to communicate with all the time? Right. And, you know, if, if you don't have a choice, what is your partner's responsibility? Trust. Trust. That's the only responsibility because she... You know, a woman's she, intuition is a wait, very wait, strong so, thing. So, okay, let me, that's why I said, let me, let me just say this. This happened to me. I remember uh, many years ago, um, I just joined this company. And just like, you know, um, most companies in the media sector, you know, people hang out, vibe, talk about stuff and everything. And I remember meeting this young editor, female, pretty, but very young. I mm -hmm. think she was like 21 or there about. And... Um, one day we had all just, you know, had a couple of drinks and we we're talking and stuff. And we we're at the office mm -hmm. late in the evening. And she grabbed me in ways that I cannot explain and started kissing me. Mm. And guess what? Most men would enjoy that. But I was frightened. And she was, she was, she, she took advantage of you. I was uh, you a should victim. sue her. I was a victim. You should sue her. I was a victim. Thank yes. you. Thank this you. Is because, why because, or, this, I wasn't married. Because, you weren't married then. Okay. And I was, you know why I was, you know I was scared? You know I was scared? No, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I think you should saw her. Because yeah, a like grown man like yeah. you with a 21-year-old girl, there's no way she couldn't have subdued you with that kiss. No, no, she you didn't were paralyzed at no, the no, time no, no, that no. she so kissed So I was you. shocked. I was shocked. I'm just okay. trying to be on the side of the minister here. <laughs> I, I, I was shocked. I, I feel you. I feel you. <laughs>